Okay, so in the last episode, we learned all about setting up Premiere Pro, how to create a custom workspace and our custom keyboard shortcuts. Today, however, it's finally time to start editing, I promise. Okay, so we're back inside Premiere Pro and this is sort of how we left it yesterday. Everything is set up and we're ready to start our editing. So usually after I've imported all my footage, I start to go through all the videos or all the clips just to see what I want to use and what I don't want to use. But in this case, I've already picked out all the shots that we need to save some time. So in this case, we're going to start with the audio because in this video or film, the audio decides what shot goes where. So if we look at our timeline here, we can see that we have a bunch of tracks. First we have a bunch of V tracks and then we have some tracks with the name A. So A is for all our audio, our music, our voiceovers, our sound effects. And above that we have all our video tracks. This is where we have our videos, our graphics, our texts, our adjustment layers. But like I said, we're going to start with the audio because that is what sort of leads this edit. So we can remove the shot that we added yesterday and go into our audio bin. And also in the previous tutorial, I forgot to add the voiceover to the audio bin, but it should be in the download folder as well. So I just dragged it in there. So what we can do is we can add the voiceover to our track one, just like that, super easy. And then we can take our song, if you downloaded that, and just drag it into audio three. We leave audio track two empty for now in case we want to add some sound effects or something like that later. Then you can drag this little slider out here just to make the timeline bigger so we can have a better overview of everything. So then we have a few buttons here that we can see all the M's are for muting our tracks. So if we mute the voiceover, we can only hear the music. Then you have S, which is solo track. So that even though we have, let's say we add a bunch of different video tracks like this, um, it's gonna sound awful if we listen to everything, obviously. But if you use the solo track, it will only play back the track that is, well, selected, so... This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. It's super useful if you don't want to sit and mute all the other tracks, you can just solo the one track that you want to listen to. Now I'm just gonna hit Command-C or Control-C on Windows to just go back like the way it was before. Then we can mute our audio track and we can start listening to our voiceover. So what we're first going to do is just find where we need to cut this voiceover. Now it's of course hard for you to know where to cut, but just follow my steps. And remember in the keyboard shortcuts, we added a keyboard shortcut called add edit to our E key. But now we just want to make cuts to our voiceover layer. So we don't want to cut the music layer. So what we can do then, let's see if we, tap E here, we can see that it creates a cut in both our layers and we don't want that. So again, Command C or Control C on Windows to back up and we can lock the music layer by hitting the little lock symbol here like that. So if we make a bunch of cuts here now, we can see that the audio or the music track is not affected. Okay, so the audio track is locked or the music track is locked and muted, so let's start cutting the voiceover. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's... So basically we're gonna cut up every sentence almost, I think. So let's just make a cut after I'm done saying the first sentence. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. There. Hey, yeah, hit E. And then let's back up a bit. There, make a cut. A while ago, I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Actually, here we don't have to make any cuts just yet. Um, I'm saying three sentences in a row here, and we can just leave them for now and make a cut after, after the third one. So, I had been waiting for this package forever, so I was super excited. Here, we can make a cut there. And also, if you want to be super detailed and make it exactly like I do, you can see up here that there is a time code. So now I made a cut at 13 seconds and 23 frames in. So if you want your cuts to be exactly on the right frame that I am, you can just see what time code I use and yeah, use that. Let's move on. But then. Make a cut. 
It was my super annoying neighbor. I had to avoid him at any cost. And that we can also keep as one sentence. But how? Make a cut. There, you're all caught up now. Make a cut. Okay, fine, that's not what happened. Make a cut. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that every time. I managed to escape the deadly conversation and could keep moving towards my target. But then... Someone had thrown a banana peel on the ground. It seemed impossible to avoid. Yeah, we can keep that as one, too. Thank God for my parkour training. It seemed impossible to avoid. Thank God for my parkour training. Oh. Yeah, those three sentences we can keep as one also. So let's make one cut at around 32 seconds and four frames. And the next one. Thank God for my parkour training. Oh. At 39 seconds and five frames. Also, if you want to skip just one frame ahead, you can just tap the arrow key in any direction. And if you use the up and down key, you jump between cuts like this. But the arrow key side to side just moves one frame. Okay, let's continue. 41 seconds, 13 frames. I had successfully avoided certain death again and managed to reach my mailbox. Uh, so one at 46 and 12 frames. But then... 48. Turns out it wasn't mail. 50 and 10. It was a goddamn bomb. Super dramatic. 53 and 12. And here we can use, because we don't want to rest there, so instead of hitting E, we can use the W key like we talked about before. You can see that it sort of deletes everything on the um, right side of the playhead. And if we were to use the Q, it would delete everything on the left side. And Control Command C. So after I'm done saying the last sentence there, there we can just hit the W key. Boom, and it's gone. Okay, so now we're done cutting up our voiceover, and now it's time to mix the music with the voiceover and try to find a symbiosis between the two. So we can just hit play. This is the incredible story of and for now, when we're just listening, we can hear that the music is too loud, so we can just click on the music track and tap the keyboard G. That gives us control over our audio gain. And that is basically how loud the music is. So we can hit negative 10 and enter. Let's back up and now the music isn't as loud, so it will be easier to hear the voiceover. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's back up a bit. So I can hear that the let's back up a bit part is coming in too early. So I want to move that down. And instead of just dragging one clip like this and move it on top of the other, we can hit A and that gives us control of moving everything to the right side of this symbol. So if I click, you see everything becomes selected and I can move everything, but I don't want to move the audio track of course. So we can lock that for now and just move this down a little bit. Oops, like that. And also if you want to get back to like the default tool, you can just hit V or you can see that it's up here. So you can select them from here too. But as you can see, everyone has its own sort of keyboard shortcut. So let's give it another listen. This is the incredible story of when I... Press spacebar to play or up here. I got my mail. There, I think that's good timing for now. We're gonna fine tune everything when we have our video later, but let's just start with sort of a rough cut with the audio. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's back up a bit. Uh, maybe we can make it a bit sooner. And here you can see that the clip is snapping, even though I move it just a little bit. And that can be very annoying at times. So to get rid of that, you can hit the S key and you can see that something happens up here on the magnet. This controls how the clips snap to each other. So if we don't have that, we can move the shot or the clip very freely like this. But if we have snap activated, it will snap when we get close enough to another cut. 
So let's hit the S key and move that closer a little bit, like nine frames or something. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's back up a bit. Yeah, that's better. So okay. then we can drag our next piece to about six seconds. A while ago, I was sitting at home. Maybe even earlier. Let's back up a bit. Yeah. Let's move it to 512. A while ago, I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Then the package came, so I went out to get it. I had been waiting for this package forever, so I was super excited. And then I want this, but then to come in just before this hit in the song. So it's like, but then. <laughs> so we're gonna drag everything back a little bit just a few frames and see if we can sort of squeeze in this but then before that i had been waiting for this packet forever so i was super excited but then no so if we zoom in a little bit or make the timeline wider we can see that we have a lot of dead area here so we can remove that and pull this a bit closer to the previous one forever so i was super excited but then no it's too tight between those two sort of sentences so i think we have two options here we can either move this whole piece closer but then i think let's back up a bit a while ago i was sitting at home waiting or maybe getting a package then the package came so i went out to get it i had been waiting for this package forever so i was super excited and move that closer but then Nope, not that close. We, we want it to end just right before the hit. We're excited. But then... First, I was super excited. But then... Yeah, something like that. We can fix that later. And then we have the annoying neighbor part. We can move that closer. Then... It was my super... Even closer. Then... It was my super annoying neighbor. I had to avoid him at any cost. And we can ha and we can keep a little pause between those two there. At any cost. But, but not that big of a pause. And also again, we can just trim off a little bit. All right, I <laughs> I forgot to tell you how to do that. But you can see that even though I have the default key here, when I move towards the edge of a clip it gives me two sort of arrow symbols. One of them is I can drag this out and make it longer. And the other one goes and makes it smaller. Well, it sort of works the same way, but, but yeah, that's how you do it. If you have the default key, you can just move to the edge of a clip and sort of just make it bigger or smaller to your wishes. So we can make it a bit smaller and drag it a bit closer to the previous sentence. Wait a minute, any cost. But how? Okay, there. Uh, and then we're gonna add... <clears throat> here's where the little pause sign comes in and it's like, okay, you're all caught up now. So here we need to make our first cut in the song. How? There. Just gonna fix this first. But how? There. So I think we want the cut before the the next sort of bass hit there. Uh, so I'm unlocking the audio track. There. Backing up a few frames, try to make a cut there. So now if we just click our music track and hit the E key, it will only make a cut to our music track. I forgot to mention that, that it will only make the cuts to whatever is selected. So if we have both selected and hit the E, it will make a cut in both, but if we only select one of them and hit the E key, it will only make a cut in that. So now we just want to make a cut in our music track and I think that's a good place so we can move the other piece a bit further down. But how? There, you're all caught up now. I have to avoid them at any cost. But how? Maybe a bit closer. Deactivate the snapping. 
I have to avoid him at any cost. Avoid him at any cost. But how? To avoid him at any cost. But how? Hmm. Huh. Any cost. But how? But how? There. You're all caught up now. Okay. Yeah, let's leave it like that for now. Okay, fine. That's not what happened. And then we have a piece where there's just music. So we can hit the A key again to select everything. Move that down and bring back the audio track or the music track. Sorry. And now we don't need the rest of this sort of build up in the music. So we can cut out everything before the sort of bass drop or whatever we want to call it. So maybe around here. And here I will press the Q key just to make it go. Yeah, again, it will delete everything to the left of the playhead or this blue line like that. And then we're going to drag that into just beneath our voiceover. You're all caught up now. Yeah, something like that. We can maybe move it down a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere around there. There. You're all caught up now. Um, I'm going to move a little bit. I'm going to trim down a little bit more of the music here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Okay, and maybe somewhere around here at 31 seconds and 9 frames, we can make another cut to the music with the E key. And just in case you want to know where everything is now, we start the, the drop of the music there at, yeah, just 25 seconds. And it keeps moving to 31 seconds and 9 frames. So then we're going to make another pause and move the music down a bit. And move in our next. And here we can see that there's a lot of dead space. So we can just trim that down and move that into yeah, somewhere around there maybe. Okay, fine. That's not what happened. Right. And then there's this sort of awkward shot of me rolling without any music. So we can just leave some space for that. So hit the A key and move everything down like yeah, a few seconds. So then we're going to skip the rest of the sort of drop in the music and find where it's sort of starting to slow down again. All right, you know what? We're never going to need this part again. So we can delete that because we're going to duplicate this part here. So I'll hit the C key to get our razor tool and make a cut there at around yeah, 14 seconds. And I'm going to hold the option or the alt key and drag that out and then let go because that will duplicate wherever I'm selecting. If I hold the Alt key, select it, and then let go of the Alt key, it will not duplicate, it will just move it. So you have to let go of the mouse before you let go of the Alt key, like that. Okay, um, so yeah, exactly. This is when I come rolling down the hill and the music is sort of starting again. And we're back with the voiceover. I managed to escape the, I managed to escape the deadly conversation. Mm -hmm. So we're adding the music again. It's easier maybe if you go from the drop. around the drop is around 40 seconds and 14 frames and then we just add a little bit of this build up or this riser here then the voiceover comes back in we can trim off the axis piece here so the voiceover comes back 
around uh, 10 frames after the drop. I managed to escape the death of conversation and to keep moving towards my target. And then we have another shot of me rolling down this little ledge and into the leaves. So we can have the, but then, just now. But then. Yeah, I think it's actually very good where it is. So we can keep dragging out the music. Someone had thrown a banana peel. The banana peel, yeah, my nemesis. Um, we can cut out a little bit of the banana peel sentence. Someone had thrown. And move that a bit closer to the but then. But then, someone had thrown a banana peel. But I want the brass hit sort of brown to come just before we start the banana sentence so we're gonna move it back again a few frames Damn. Someone had thrown a banana peel. still too early so a few more yeah so now we can hear that we're too early with the, with the voiceover so just hit the A key, select everything, and then go back to the default tool or the selection tool and hold shift and click the music track to deselect it. And then we can move all the voiceover. Again, hit the A key, select everything, press V for the selection tool, hold shift and click the music track. And that deselects it so we can just move the voiceover like that. Okay, so now uh, it's hard to sort of cut the music and press it together. So we want the thank God for my parkour training part to be right before this robot voice. So we can make a cut by either clicking C, cut, then V and drag it down. Or you can just select move the playhead there, hit the E key and move it down, whatever suits you. So now we're going to see where this needs to be. Thank God for my A bit earlier. Thank God for my yeah, around there. We can also again hear that the voiceover is not loud enough, but we're going to fix that later. That's sounding good for now. So then we have the drop. Yeah, and then there's this little <laughs> parkour sequence and I can't remember how long that is. So we're just going to move everything from the voiceover down a bit. So A to select everything, V, hold shift and deselect the music track and drag that down like this. And then there's going to be another one of these pauses like, okay, that's not what happened. So yeah, let's just make a pause here. So cut the music at around a minute and two seconds. And then we can drag in the pause voiceover part. Okay, fine. That's not what happened. And that also has a lot of dead space. So we can remove that like that. Okay, fine, that's not what happened either. Uh, and then there's this awkward wide shot again, which to be honest, I was very unhappy about because it was raining and it was super windy, super cold. And we just thought like, okay, we have to get out and get this shot before it gets too dark. So if I had more time and if the weather was good, I would have sort of maybe tried another angle or something but then as you actually can see in the shot the banana peel sort of broke and I split it in half so it was hard to sort of set it up again anyway it's what it is but here is the awkward pause let's <laughs> let's keep going um, yeah maybe like that and then we're gonna duplicate the song again so hit uh, so hold the alt key Click and drag it over here and let go of the mouse before you let go of the Alt key or the Option key on Mac. I have successfully avoided certain death. So that's a bit too early for the voiceover. 
we're gonna drag that over further down. I have successfully avoided certain death again and managed to breach my mailbox. But then that's a bit too early, so we're gonna move those three last ones down. But then yeah, so it again comes in right before this brass hit, like brown. And we can give a little air between those two as well. Turns out it was a man. It was a goddamn bomb. Here, the pause between it was a male and it was a bomb is a bit too big. So I'm gonna delete a piece of that and pull it closer. Turns out it was a male. It was a goddamn bomb. Yeah. And here we're gonna have to make our first sort of music stitch. And this can work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work at all. But since I've already done it, I know that it works. So we're gonna do that. Uh, first, we can lock our voiceover track so we don't accidentally cut anything there. And so basically why we're doing this is because we want the, the new drop to come right after this sentence is done. And also you can make these tracks wider by pulling the slider up here. So it's easier for us to see and you can just scroll down. So it's just easier to see where everything hits in the song. So now we need to find two places in the song that sounds almost similar. So after the drop, there. And the best way is to sort of try to cut it on like drum hits or bass hits or some, some like really uh, distinct part in the song that you can find in two places. So here we have a drum hit. Let's just click C and cut it or select it and click the E key. Uh, and then we need to find a similar sound to So it's a do -do -doom -doom -doom. We can actually mute the voiceover so it's not distracting us Maybe there you can hit C and V and drag those two together And if you haven't activated the snapping key you can do that by just clicking the S again That's too obvious, so maybe it's somewhere in the middle here. There. Uh, and now, since the, since the above track is locked, we can just hit the Q. And it's going to snap that back together. Or ripple delete everything again from the left of the playhead to the next cut. Yeah, I think that works. But now if we if we really listen to it, we can hear that there's a cut there. Yeah. So what we can do is we can hover the mouse between the two clips and right click and choose apply default transition. And what this does is it sort of creates a crossfade between shot A and shot B. And then we can drag this out more or we can pull it back together to get less of the transition but basically what it does is it takes a little bit of the audio from clip B and it takes a little bit from clip A and it sort of blends them together so it's a more gradual transition than just a straight cut so if we listen to it again that sounds a lot more natural right And then I don't want a cut here because there's no reason for it. So we can either right click and choose join through edits or we can just remove that part and drag it out. So, so if we listen to it again, yeah, that's so much better. Okay, so now we have our voiceover and we have our music track sort of stitched together. And again, we're going to have to fine tune everything later when we have our clips. But the next thing we're going to do is add our spacebar sound effect because we need those little pauses. 
So in the download folder, again, you should have had this sound effect called spacebar. And if you double click it, you will see it up here in its sort of own, well, program monitor. Uh, and what we can do here is set an in and an out point for what parts of the clip we want. So if you press the I key like that, you set an in point and then you can just drag this down a bit and you hit O for out. So now instead of us getting the whole clip, which isn't that long, but still, uh, we just get the section between our in and out point. So now we can drag the space bar into our timeline at track two, because that's where we're gonna have our sound effects. And we're just gonna listen to where we need our first pause. All right, we have to unlock and unmute the voiceover. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. There. So somewhere around there is where we're gonna have our first pause. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's maybe a bit closer. Got my mail. Let's back. And it's too loud for now, so we're just gonna hit the G for gain, and maybe negative seven. Got my mail. Let's back up a bit. While yeah. And we're not gonna need another one because there's a transition there. So, so again, hit the Alt key and drag this down a bit. So now we've duplicated it. And the package came, so I went out to get it. <sighs> I had been waiting for this package forever, so I was super excited. But then... Okay, no, not there. We're gonna need it by the next pause around there. It was my super annoying neighbor. I had to avoid him at any cost. But how? Yeah, so this pause goes, it's, it basically pauses the music, so uh, around there maybe, move it, move it so that if we zoom in a bit here, move it so that the spike goes as close to the cut of the music as possible. There, you're all caught up now. And then the same way we're going to duplicate it to the end. So Alt, drag, let go and let go of Alt. There, you're all caught up now. Okay, and then we have our next pause here. Okay, fine, that's not what happened. So we can just select both of our spacebar sound effects, hit the Alt key and duplicate them over to here. Okay, let's listen to that. Okay, fine, that's not what happened. Yeah, I think we're gonna move everything down a little bit. So it's not so like right on the pause. Okay, fine. Then. That's too much. Move it in a few frames. Okay, fine. That's not what happened. Yeah. And we can maybe wait a bit with the next pause. Okay, fine. That's not what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have the awkward shot here. I managed to escape the death of conversation. Yeah. But we can duplicate the spacebar sound effect again because we're going to need it. Uh, so Alt, drag it down to the next pause, which is here. Okay, fine. That's not what happened either. And again, just give this a little bit more space, breathing room. Okay, fine. That's not what happened either. Okay, fine, that's not what happened either. Okay, fine, that's not what happened either. Yep. And then we have the awkward shot. <clears throat> I had successfully avoided certain death again and managed to... Yeah, and then there are no more pauses. And then we have two more sound effects that we're going to add. And this is kind of weird because you're not really adding sound effects before you know where your shots go. But because we already know that, we can do it now. So we have a whoosh transition. Uh, that is after the first shot here. Let's back up a bit. Here. So we can double click our 10 free cinematic whooshes. I think I want a pretty bright, fast one that one. So again, I'm going to 
uh, I'm going to put my playhead in the beginning, hit I for in point and drag it and click O for out point. And then you can either pull it from here, you have the drag audio only, or you can pull it out from the project bin. Let's back up a bit. Wow. Okay, that's a bit too loud, so we're gonna hit the G for gain and take negative seven on that one too. Man. Let's back up a bit. A while ago, I was here. Okay, and that sounds pretty good. And then we have the gun. Uh, that is. But how? There, you're all caught up now. So here we're gonna add the gun. So in point, out point and drag it out either from there or from the project bin. Let's listen to it. Okay, let's gain it down also around seven. Okay, so there we have our audio and we are going to fine tune and we're gonna add some effects to some of the audio and we're gonna sort of balance the levels and blah, 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 but we're gonna do that later. Now we're gonna leave it as is and we're gonna start the next tutorial with editing our footage. So I'll see you in that one. <laughs>